Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Not going to be long. Just want to make a video regarding the matter of the name that we say we are and can lay claim to. Giving honor and praise to the Creator and the Maker of heaven and earth, the Most High. This is the word here, Yisrael. Now, for those who say Hebrew has no vowels, they will say this is Yashava Allah or Yashu. Ra'al or Yasha Ra'al. You see it different ways said by those who say Hebrew has no vowels. And this is no disrespect intended, nonetheless. But Ah is a vowel. It's a sound. What a vowel is in actuality is a written sound. So if you were to say this is Yasha Ra'ala, you're still saying vowels with it, just saying it as Ah. All right, so we just want to point that out. Now, next thing to point out with this, brothers and sisters, what we're seeing Israel, this is the Yod, with the Kirik, the Sim, the Shawa, the Resh with the Kwamats, and the Lamet with the Zare. Now, let's look at this very carefully. This Yod that you see right here, right, making a Y sound, all right, serves as a prefix. So if you were to just say this here, the scene in the Reish, right? It comes from the root word Sarah. The word Sarah in Hebrew means to contend. All right? So we want to point that out for reference purposes. So now this Yod serves as the third person, feminine, pardon me, the third person Masculine, singular, future tense. Why do we want to point out? Why do we want to point out, brothers and sisters, the aspect of it saying in future tense is this? Because this word here, L, right? It comes from the root word ayil. The word ayil, brothers and sisters means to have power or to be mighty or to have strength. So that's something we want to point out in that particular regard. So what are we saying, brothers and sisters, in this particular case? Is this. This yod, all right, serving as a prefix, showing the future tense of this root word here, meaning as stated to contend. And this one here, el, translated loosely by saying God, speaking of the Creator. Yisrael would mean mean brothers and sisters, El, the creator, will contend. That's what that means in that particular case. So many times brothers and sisters would say that Yisrael means prince of the power. In spirituality, perhaps, but if you want to talk about the aspect of literal meaning, or if you want to talk about the aspect of linguistics, as opposed to just spiritual aspect or why Jacob was given that name, this is what we want to point out in that particular case. Now, as stated, this is not going to be long. Just wanted to point this out for reason and purposes and so forth and so on. All right. We want to emphasize, as been pointed out in other videos, that Yisrael is not from Isis, Ra, and El. That's something that was purported by Masons and people of that kind of nature to try to throw people off from the truth of what it is. You understand? It is not from Isis Rod El. Isis um, is not even an Egyptian god or goddess. That's a whole other subject. We're not going to get too far into that particular aspect. And, brothers and sisters, El, we want to talk about a little bit, if we will. All right? Let's look at that. Many times people say that El was a Canaanite deity and then say that the Israelites adopted it. Saying El, brothers and sisters, is no different than saying the quote-unquote loose term in English, God. You understand? So if somebody said God in 1604 and then somebody said God in 2004, one did not borrow it. We have to just know and understand, brothers and sisters, what this speaker or author is talking and conveying. All right. So as pointed out, this word here, El, comes from the root word, all right, Ayil which means to be mighty or to have strength. In Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, verse 32, you read, la'el la'yadeka, meaning, no, uh, speaking about power in your hand. 
All right, now, brothers and sisters, in the scriptures before Ham came into existence, Ham is the father of Canaan, right? You had a person named Mahalel, all right? And you have the word El in that man's name. So that's something we want to point out in that particular regard. You have Mahalel El. Mahalalel. All right, that's in the book of Genesis. All right, that was even before brothers and sisters Ham even came into existence, much less Canaan. So El, identifying power, mighty, so forth and so on, was already known among the people even before the Hamite dispensation came into the earth. All right, so we just want to point that out for reason and purposes. With that, Shalom.